Good morning everyone and thank you for joining us today as we celebrate Vision Day. Every year, Pastor John shares the church vision for the coming year, and he is going to do that in just a little while. But before we take a look forward, we wanted to take a look back at all of the wonderful and amazing blessings that God had for Westridge and his people. We started 2021 with a look back at 2020 and all the challenges we overcame in order to be together even when we couldn't gather together and how we could still love God and love people against all odds. But beyond that, we took a look at the past decade and the changes the church had gone through both cosmetically and in how it reached the community. Since 2021 is the first year of a new decade, we thought we would share with you some of the amazing firsts Westridge had this past year. The Kingdom Men ministry launched and throughout the course of the year went bowling, through bean bags and axes, had barbecues and pig roasts, all while hearing incredible testimonies from each other, former Pittsburgh Steelers players, and two very special messages from military veterans about how God was with them in and after combat. Since 2018, over $600,000 was raised for the renovation and building of the Awaken Youth Center, which held its first Sunday services during a grand opening dedication ceremony in April with 264 in attendance, and continues to be the home of Awaken students every Wednesday night. Awaken also had over 50 students attend a single night for the first time in 2021, which led to Pastor Brian Burns taking the One Chip Challenge. So keep inviting your friends, students. You never know what challenge may lay ahead the next time you reach 50. July saw our very first serve day as 14 volunteers traveled to Cherry Valley Organics Farm and helped them to clean up and prepare their fields for the season. Cherry Valley then partnered with Ridge Pantry to provide and distribute 900 pounds of fresh produce to those in need. 2021 saw over 85 first-time guests Christmas Eve saw 40 families enjoying our very first ever horse-drawn carriage rides around the church, and 233 people attend a beautiful candlelight service to celebrate the birth of Jesus. And finally, Westridge held the first ever feast celebration in October. 27 volunteers helped the over 200 guests enjoy a time of fellowship with candy apples, an inflatable boot camp, and axe throwing. The day also went from having one person signed up to be water baptized to an amazing nine people, including several kids, being led to dedicate their lives to Christ and be baptized on the spot. Of course, the firsts are just a part of the blessings that God continued to pour on and through Westridge and you, the body. The students of Awaken continued to grow in their relationship with Christ and have begun finding ways to serve the people of the church, with four students a part of the worship team, seven in our tech ministry, and two with greeting, we now see over 20 students serving either Wednesday, Sunday, or sometimes both. The Ridge Pantry continues to be a blessing to the community and served over 45,000 pounds of food to over 1,300 families this past year, including handing out 41 Thanksgiving meals and $4,000 in gift cards to 50 families to show them God's love during the Christmas Bless event. We were able to have an amazing in-person Easter service and we're blessed to have 281 in attendance, along with 63 kids, for a day of powerful worship and celebration of the resurrection of Jesus. Tithing was up 9%. We were able to give over 12,000 in community support, helping with utilities, meals, and serving those with illness and many other needs, and we continued to sow over $80,000 into our supported missionaries in order to propel the gospel to all the nations around the globe. Westridge was excited to have Justin Rizzo for a one-night special concert event at the Awaken Youth Center in April. Christian singer-songwriter Rachel Nemiroff then blessed us with a very special Christmas concert in December. One of the hardest working, yet least talked about ministries also had a very busy 2021. The CARE team has been putting forth such an amazing effort over the last two years, and we want to thank them for all of their dedication and the love they show for the Kingdom of God. They served 155 families during the year by doing grocery pickups and deliveries, pharmacy runs, meal delivery, new baby welcome meals, grief meals and cards, hospital floral and card deliveries and visits, 
and even calling those in need to see how we as a church can serve them in their time of loss, illness, and need. So thank you once again to all those who serve on the Westridge Care Team. You are truly a blessing to the church and the community. The year was also filled with some amazing times of fellowship, worship, and powerful messages. We kicked off the year learning that God will help us to rebuild and regain what seems lost. We found that God's timing is always perfect, and that putting our faith in His promises will show that we are made for such a time as this. And that thanks to Jesus, even those that are broken can be restored. We talked about the steps we take once we have chosen to follow Christ, and that we are never too far to be welcomed back into God's open arms in moments. We saw what it truly means to put your trust in God, and all about things Jesus didn't say. We shared in the Proverbs and declared our faithfulness, because being faithful leads to a truly blessed life. We celebrated Christmas and the birth of our Lord with times of fellowship and prayer. As we begin 2022 and look to the coming year, we must remember to look to God on how, in all seasons, we can partner with Him in order to stay the course.